Hi, it's Mr. Anderson and this is AP Essentials video 24. It's on the gravitational force, which is the force an object with mass experiences when it's placed inside a gravitational field. And on our planet, we call that its weight. So imagine I say, take this orange and go weigh it for me. Well, you might not know what device am I going to use to figure out its weight. We've only talked about gravitational and inertial mass so far. Would you use a balance? No, that measures the mass. You would use a scale. That's going to measure the weight. Now you might say that's crazy. They both have the same answer. They're both going to be 0 0.200 kilograms. But what I would say is that balance measures the mass and it's never going to change the mass of an object. So if we were to take both these devices to the moon, that balance is still going to measure 0 0.200 kilograms. There's less gravitational field on the moon, less force, and that's going to affect both the orange and the weights on the other side. But you can see that the scale is going to give us a lower value. And if we were to take that scale and the orange and just drop it and let it free fall to the planet, it would measure zero. And so a scale measures weight because it's measuring that gravitational force. And I would also say this is not correct units. We have to measure that in newtons. And we'll go through that in just a second. And so if you take any object that has mass and place it inside a gravitational field, it's going to experience a gravitational force. And it's really easy to calculate that gravitational force. Remember, it's a vector in the direction of the gravitational field. But all you do is take the m, or the mass, and you multiply it times g, which is also a vector. And it measures the strength of the gravitational field, or the gravitational field strength. And so on our planet, that gravitational force is going to be equal to its weight. It's the weight of the object. Now let's say we take something like an orange and we just drop it and, grow, and it goes in free fall. Then we would know that the acceleration of that orange as it falls towards the Earth is going to be numerically equal to the gravitational field strength. The units are going to be different, but on our planet, it's always going to be 9.8. And so remember, a gravitational field is going to be created by any object that has mass. And since we're sitting on the Earth, all of that is going to go towards the center of the Earth. But since the Earth is so large, we can treat these field uh, vectors as essentially being parallel to each other. And so if we take an object and place it inside that gravitational field, it's really easy to figure out its gravitational force. It's simply m times g, or the mass of the object times the gravitational field strength. Now you know that the mass is always measured in kilograms and the gravitational field strength will be measured in newtons per kilogram. And so let's go to that orange. It's got a mass of 0 0.20 kilograms. What's the gravitational field strength? It's going to be 9.8 newtons per kilogram. And so all we do is multiply those two values together and I get a gravitational force or a force vector of 2.0 newtons. So that's going to be the force acting on that orange. And so if we were to just let it go in a gravitational field, what's it going to do? Well, Newton's second law, it's going to accelerate in the direction of the field. But on our planet, it doesn't do that. On our planet, it still has the same force. It'll accelerate, but eventually the Earth is going to stop it from going to the center of the Earth. It's going to exert a normal force in the opposite direction. And so that force on the scale is what we would measure as its weight. There's a spring in there that's measuring that force, and so it's, it's giving us a value. And, and we would measure that in newtons if we're in a physics lab. And so objects that are in free fall are different from objects that are just sitting on the, on the planet's surface. And so imagine we take a large object, 250 kilograms. So could you figure out the weight of that object? You simply multiply it times 9.8 newtons per kilogram, and you would get a force of 2,500 newtons. So let's say we let it go from the top of a building, this massive object. They're going to accelerate towards the planet. And so in physics, the gravitational field strength, which is in newtons per kilogram, is going to be equal to, numerically equal to, the acceleration due to gravity, which we call that little g. And so it's not a coincidence that these two are exactly the same, but the units are different. We're measuring acceleration, remember, as a change in velocity over time, and gravitational field strength is the force of that field based on the amount of material in that object. And so did you learn to calculate the gravitational force? It's simple. You simply multiply m times g, and I hope that was helpful.